Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Today is September 6th, and here is your daily energy report. So, shit's still weird. Shit's still crazy. But we do have Venus moving into Leo today. So, our divine feminine, like, we see, we, we're going to be feeling a little more playful. Definitely less emotional. So, that's, that's always a good thing, right? And we have the moon in Taurus today. So, we are emotionally strong and less, you know, meh. Right. So a little less cathartic, which is probably going to be a good thing. And, you know, just letting all this weirdness float through us as this energy keeps progressing. Um, you know, it's like we continue to move forward, but certain parts of things are standing still. And with that standing still, you know, it's almost like, you know, someone that just is always going, 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 trying to meditate. Right. Or if you've like, you know, remember back when you first tried to meditate and you just got frustrated sitting there and you're like trying to be relaxed, trying to be calm, breathe, and your mind's just racing like no other. That's sort of the kind of like the feeling that we have going on in the background, right? But, you know, we can keep ourselves occupied or we can channel this energy into productive means. Let me do that. So wherever your mind is at, okay, like where at, at least it's not going to be overwhelming. Okay. It's not gonna be an overwhelming day, which is good. Um, and we might be able to generate creative ways to let it out. You know, today would be a good day to like chill and relax. Of course, it is Labor Day weekend. I don't know if any of y'all got any plans, but I know that, um, you know, today in particular, energetically speaking, it's going to be a good day to just, you know, appreciate and chill and be in the present moment. But if your mind is kind of, you know, racing or your mind may be like, you know, subservient to other people like, Oh, let me help you out. Let me help you out. And that's great and everything and all, but you know, we have to be careful because uh, a lot of people right now are neglecting self care. Right. And health and nutrition, super important right now. Right we are shifting from, we're sort of at the end of summer coming into, you know, autumn, fall. And depending on where you're at, the weather could be changing. Okay. The galactic or cosmic weather is changing as well as the physical weather that is changing. So physical health, physical nutrition, especially with the sun and Virgo, man, it's all about nutrition. You know, Virgo, you know, the sixth house, it's all about day to day, taking care of the self, you know, self love, self care. So making sure that, you know, you're eating healthy, uh, you know, like I would really recommend getting a biome test done because even if you're eating healthy, you may not realize that some of those healthy foods that you think you're eating are not actually not healthy for your, uh, you know, the bacteria in your gut and, you know, take care of your, of your DNA with euphoria. I'm a big fan of that. It's those are two, my two staples for keeping myself and shape and nice and balanced, not just physically, but emotionally and energetically as well. Okay. So focusing on your physical health, staying structured, having a plan, creating a system, um, having all these things in place so that we don't waste our energy going in superfluous directions. All right. Having this, the, the more efficiently we have this in place, the better this next few months is going to go because it is going to require all of us. It's going to require hundred percent of our energy to go into the next, this next few months, you know, like uh, today is just a few days before, you know, Mars stations to go retrograde. And once that happens, be uh, this coming Wednesday, shit's going to get real guys. Okay. So establish the habit now. Get it going now. With Venus and Leo, it's going to be a little more peppy, a little more like, all right, yeah. You know, don't be just lax and, you know, easy. Or don't, don't just go waste it on just doing some superfluous shit. We need to stay focused here, all right? Because the future is still very unpredictable, all right? There's a lot of things in the world that are unknown and that are not going on. So we have to kind of be ready for whatever. So if you're just kind of off just partying or or chilling or doing whatever it is that you want to do and not really staying, you know, to a structure, you're probably going to regret it. 
I'm just going to throw it out there. Just throwing it out there. Okay. So, you know, stay committed to yourself, self care, you know, um, have, have a plan. All right. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Now, self care is one thing. Okay. But escapism is sort of a uh, Neptunian thing that we can fall into. And right. And as we keep coming closer to, you know, Neptune square, the nodes, we're going to really have to start to watch ourselves be the conscious observer on a very, on a, on a deeper level, make sure that we see this. Okay. Make sure that we understand this. Mercury is in Libra right now. So, you know, the way that we communicate, we're going to be want to be, you know, be social communicating with other people, communicating our feelings, being more sympathetic and empathetic. Not that we're not that much already. Okay. But this is going to bring people together but also divide people in a certain way. All right, stay the course. Basically the foundation, you need to take care of you first and foremost, okay? Everything else is secondary. Make sure that you're taking care of you. Make sure that you're stepping into your own structure. Make sure your circadian rhythm is on point. Make sure that your nutrition is on point. Make sure that, you know, like your health, your vitality is up in an optimal tip top shape. You do that. And you're gonna feel good, and you're gonna make it through this day, no problemo. Okay, watch out for the escapism. You know, then don't get too crazy this weekend. All right, because like we really, we're in these times where you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. We have to be ready for anything. Okay, a lot of crazy energies are here, and a lot more crazy energies are coming. If you want to see what the rest of this month is gonna be like, check out my monthly. Uh, September energy uh, reading on YouTube. Okay. Stay consistent, stay structured, stay grounded, have a plan, make sure that you just, you have all the bases covered right now. Okay. And be ready for anything. <laughs> Expect the unexpected with the moon. The moon's going to be conjuncting Uranus today too. So, you know, Right now, just be ready for anything, guys, okay? Anything can happen. I love you all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, if this message resonates for you, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And uh, if you like reading for me, go to my website. Uh, if you'd like to join the Opportunity Community, you can go to my, my website too, spiritualbodybuilder.com, or the link is in the, the description box below or in uh, my bio on Instagram, all right? Love you all very much. See you all in the next report.